Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Extreme here. Here we are looking at all the new mods released today on the 25th of March 2024. As always, all the time will be down below in the comments or in the description. But anyways, let's get cracking on because we do have some cracking mods today. And first of all, we're starting off with The Old Shed by Fudzo. 4.75 megabytes to download, 4 slots for console. And yeah, nothing much to say about this. this, is a simple old metal shed, nice old rusted corrugated roofing, and you'll find this under build mode, under buildings and sheds, head down towards the end, and you get 8 grand, so yeah, 4 slots goes down to 1, no colour options or anything like that, so yeah, that is the old metal shed by Fudzo, next. We've got the Cow Barn L Shape by Missy B. 4.91 megabytes to download. Slot count is 12 slots, goes down to 1. There is one recurring mod of this, it's the Milk Tank Extension by Missy B. 1.07 megabytes to download, and it is automatically integrated into the cow pen. This will hold 100 cattle. Cost 9 grand to place, upkeep is 15 pounds, dollars, euros a month. You do get a small income of 50 pounds, dollars, or euros a month. And you find this under buildings, under animals, under cows. So you get 90 grand. And 12 slots goes down to 1. No colour options or anything. And yeah, so we have a look. So over here is your feed input, your straw and water inputs are over here, also feed input is over here, so yeah, straw goes in here and your water, your milk comes out onto the side, over here, so you head over here, so you got your milk, and your, sorry, this is your story output, your milk output is over here, my correction, where this carriage is. And yeah, dollar box is right next to the three output. And yeah, 100 cattle. And yeah, overall, as usual by Missy B, some nice, beautiful, little detailed animations, and just general, the modeling, the textures, and that is always on point. So, but yes, head out of here. And yeah, not much else to say. Go into overview, see all your cows. In terms with capacity, so we have a look under animals. So yeah, 150,000 liters for feed, 60,000 liters for straw. Water is, what's that, about 150,000 liters similar? So yeah, about 150,000 liters. 125 maybe. But yeah, plenty of water, and that's going to last you ages anyway, so. That is the Cow Barn L-Shape by Missy B. Next. We've got something quite unique. This is the Farmhouse Bushweiser, Butchweiser by Farmer5Tom. 50.81 megabytes to download. Slot camps is 69 regardless of what you go with. So this is a cow barn, horse barn and pig barn. And yeah, it's not just your typical, oh, it's an animal police ball net. It is multi purpose. You got a workshop area. So you spring your vehicle towards the outside. You can repair it from the outside here. But it's more designed for inside. So things like small tractors and that is required. Also, you do have a seat trigger, which is just over here. Ignore this bit here. We'll look at that in a sec. That was how I place things down. But yeah, so your input is here, and you can feed the, the sheet outside the door, so you fill them up, and yeah, so you don't need to go right into the barn, so things like large traders, you can get away with. And yeah, you've got your outputs for your manure and surrey. So surrey now is over here, manure is over there. And yeah, this is something a bit different, like, when I place this down, it did do some weird terrain editing. 
And yeah, it's like a little head off dish area. Could absorb your animal feeds and your straw net. But yeah, let's go and find this under build mode. So it'll be under buildings, animals. So yeah, cows, we have the cat. 120 grand to place down. Goes down to three slots from 69. And yep, it's horse bar as well, same. And then your pigs as well. There we go, same. Different variety of inputs. You can have root crops, even the new root crops and that. So yeah, no sheep and no chicken pens. No bees <coughs> and nothing else. And yeah, like in the mod description, this is a Pretty much a old 1970s. It says Bushweiser was built in 1892. In 1971, it was completely renovated and extended in the early 2000s. So, actually, yeah, it was built in the late 1890s or early 1890s. And yeah, it was actually like nice detailed, that old German Bavarian kind of place ball. So, yeah, let's go place one down because I want to look at this terrain editing. So, Let's say here. And yeah, so to make sure everything is correct, so there we go. Not doing anything. So place it down. And yeah, does edit terrain. That's how it should be, like completely flat and level. And I think from here what you can do is go under terrain mode. Let's say if we want to soften it. So yeah, you can soften it. What about do something a bit more extreme? Slope. So you can slope it as you wish, just to make it a bit more user friendly. And yeah, in terms with <coughs> actual functionality with this error here, it's purely a decorative, but certainly a bit of storytelling, a bit of role playing, you can get away with a lot of things. You do have some folding gates. Yeah, as we head down here. So you got a variety of rolling doors. And this is all the same for all the pens on that, regardless whether it's for cows, pigs, or horses. So yeah, your seat triggers there. Beautiful animations and a little bit of level of detail. Open left and right doors. You got a light trigger which is just about here. So you have to turn lights on, lights off. Head out here, let's go and close these. And then, yep, similar things open right door, open left door, no light trigger here. But yeah, what I would recommend is close these doors if you're going to use the rolling gate because. It does block that area, and so yeah, recommend closing those doors. And there is a light switch just over here. Light switch on, light switch off. Any more over here? Nope. So yeah, that is a cow one. Ah uh, yeah, we'll have a quick look at the horses. So that'll be just over here. <coughs> so yeah, got your cows. Got your horses. And yep, sorry, output correction is over here. So you got your horses. And then lastly, you do have your pigs. Which, yet yeah, again, looks all the same. But yeah, it's like a little bit of variation in detail. And yeah, like, when you place these down, do be careful because I had nothing here and it left a weird divot here, so. Again, something to be cautious of with placing. But yeah, got your pigs, which should be here, don't have any pigs in. But yeah, let's go to the dial box. Which is just around here. So you yeah, need to close that. So yeah, dial box. So yeah, did I say how much it can hold? So 30 pigs. And go down to your horses. It will hold eight horses and twenty cows. 
And yeah, I was looking in the description, and it says like 40 heads of cattle, 80 pigs and that, but I'm not sure if that, what that means, because yeah, it's clearly not that. But yeah, anyways, this is the Farmhouse Bushweiser by Farmer 5 Tom. Next. We've got something pretty unique, but also not unique. This is the Pack of Slide Silos by Pigu 1A. 4.05 megabytes download. All of these are free slots on console. And uh, yeah, so this is a variety of bunker silos for silage. And it varies from a 6 by 10 meter, which we've got here, so 6 meters wide. 10 meters long, and yet it goes down to 40 meters, 18 meters, 22, 26, 30, 34, 38 meters, and lastly, 42. Price ranges from 7.5 grand from the cheapest to 11.5 grand. All of them are two dollars off maintenance or upkeep a day and you find these under build mode and silos scroll down to the end and yep yeah, so you got a whole plethora and yep yeah, you can adjust them as you wish however we've got our help menu open and yep yeah, i try to place some stuff down and weirdly, it's not fully registering with what I'm putting down. Like, I put down chaff, because if you go into these silos, yeah, it says, fill the other with chaff. So, I thought, put some grass in, try to put about, what, a million litres down over here? And yeah, none of that came out as chaff or anything like that. So, I thought... Let's grab some chaff. This is about 200,000 years. And yeah, chaff is in here, but only 1% of it is actually being registered as chaff. So yeah, let's cover the silo. And I can't see where it says it's covered. It's like literally right in here. And so yeah, maybe a bit broken needs, needs an update, maybe. Yeah, admittedly I've only tested these two, but I'm sure it's going to be the same for all the others. And you can perhaps tell because of how it's all placed, like, it could be how it's all placed down, but... Yeah, let's go and grab a trailer load a sec, so... Let's go and place a brand new one down, just to double check. So, sorry though, let's just go with one here. And yeah, let me grab some chaff a sec. So right, got some chaff, so yeah, I want to see, does it fill up now? Maybe or something how I place these down? But yeah, I'm placing chaff down. Some of it is leaking on the sides. And yeah, like, it registers a little bit in the middle. But besides from that, it's not really yeah, I'm not sure what it is, like... Yeah, no. Absolutely nothing. It's like leaking out. So yeah, it's definitely a broken mod of some way. And it does need an update, so maybe avoid this mod until it gets updated. But anyways, that is the pack of silos, silage silos, correction by Pigu 1A. Next. we got something a bit quaint, something small but useful. This is the line production by Grimlock RRC. 5.15 megabytes to download, slot count is 12 slots, goes down to 1. And yeah, it's simply a line production. You put stones in, it comes out. So it is 408 cycles a month, 50 litres required. So that equates to 24,000 litres of lime you can get a month. And yeah, for 30 grand, ain't too bad. And yeah, the output is also 20,000 litres for the lime. So 
When that fills up, that'll be 20,000 lira, so... Yeah, you find this under build mode, under productions. Go towards the end, so yeah, line production. 30 grand to place. 12 slots in this shit goes down to 1. Free rotation. And yeah, it's something small, so if you want a bit of reasonably quick line production, and you don't have a lot of space, Maybe you're on an old Eastern European German map, maybe, or a British map, typically. Something like this will come in handy and useful. So yeah, that is the line production by Grimlock RRC. That is all the placeables and animal pens. Now let's head into our vehicles and equipment for the day. Next we've got the Roken Chain. This is by JMZ. Point 5.9 megabytes is download, slot count is 1, and basically what these are are essentially weight. So you got a rope weight and chain weight. The rope weight is 20 kilograms, and the chain weight is 60 kilograms. And these are to be hitched onto a tractor via three point linkage. So we'll hop into our Massey here. And yeah, it only fits one way around, so. Just one thing to note. So yeah, let's go and yeah, approach it. Have a little look. So yeah. There's no animations, no nothing like that. You can't lift them, nope. So yeah, they attach the fire three point linkage and yeah, essentially it is just a bit of that extra weight, that little bit of ballast. But yeah, I swear we would have had these in FS32 for ages by now, but no. Something like this, I'm not seen on consoles at least. Maybe on PC and Mac, but definitely not for consoles. So, yep. You'll find these under Tools and Weights. Go down to the end. So, yep. 15 bucks and 30 bucks. All one slot count. And yes, no configurations whatsoever. So yep, that is the rope and chain by JMZ. Next, we've got the Lizard T225. This is by Farmer Ls. 3.2 megabytes to download. Slot count is two slots goes down to one. And yeah, essentially what this is is a transport for bales. So you can have an option for square bales and ram bales. So yeah, we'll hop into the Massey in sec to show off. You'll find these under Tools and Bell Loaders. So let's go down to the end. So yeah, T225, so yeah, it says Design for Slice Bells or for Shore Bells. So yeah, I think in, yeah, it's got a little spike so it grabs around bells. Whilst with the ones that says for Slice Bells, I think it's more for Square Bells, so so it's just straw and solid You can do route other bells and that. As long as it fits within these. So yeah, these are quite interesting. So let's hop into the Massey. Drop the weight chain. So let's go add hook on. So let's go with this one here. So you got options to raise and lower. L1, nothing. L1, R1, nothing. R1, so left and right analog stick. Adjust this D clamp, so... You can do like two stacking at a time. So there we go. Start lift the bell. Actually, I'm sure we could grab that way. There we go. Raise it with the hydraulics, so you can like stack these two at a time. And if you want to get creative, you can perhaps go for three, even like lifting two bells at once with some fine band stacking. And yeah, I'll just dump that off a sec and grab the round one. And I'm sure you could do it via alternate, so you use this for square bells and that. So yeah, this is how I typically would have it, something like this, so 
Again, reason nowhere. R1, right on the stick, just adjusts the clamps. So yeah, I'm sure we can grab the side spell, so let's go and test this. So back it up. There we go, raise. Ooh, perhaps not. Perhaps it wasn't hooked on by the spikes. Let's try that now. Well, no, so, alright then. These are purely for the ram bells then, which makes more sense based on the physics. And yet you can try to attach them via other way, so the opposite end, so... Something like this, you can go... Again, approach it. Close it, and then lift it. And then what you do is, you can either sort this, feed your animals, or sell them. So for example, you can sell them. And what if you want to have a look at... Yeah, whilst I was testing, it was like having... Not weird, but actually decent animations of... Sort of it flexes as you move along. Of course, make sure you do have it on tight, because otherwise... The bells can slip off. So there we go, let's do a little scanny flick. There we go. Sell that. So yeah, that is the Lizard T225 by Farmer LS. Next. We got some more weights. So starting off with we got the self-made front weight box. This is by JGW Modding. 3.43 megabytes to download. Slot count is two slots goes down to one. Ah yeah, essentially it's a rock box mixed with the weight, so Standard configuration is 500 kilograms with an option that goes up to 1.22 tons. Ah, yeah, you can add items into the box if you wish to make it a bit more weightier. So maybe something like the rope and chain we just looked at. But yeah, let's go and grab this strong deer sec. So yeah, let's go and just have a little quick look of attaching it. Then we'll look in the store. So there we go. Attaches, raise, and lure it. R1. Ground stick, raises, and lures it on the box. You can open and shut it. But yeah, first of all, you'll find this under tools and weights. Go down towards the end. So yeah, it starts off at just under three grand. So yeah, you've got no weights, and then you've got a 720 kilogram weight, so it goes from half a ton to 1.22 tons. Colour option, so main colour is the main box. Lid colour changes to lid, and weight colour changes colours of the weights, and a little like latches and locks, so yep, not much as I'll say. But yeah, three grand for a half a ton weight or essentially a 1.22 ton weight when you add the extra weights for total it's 3600 so may not be the most efficient but again it's nice level of detail I love the animation of the box especially that clunking sound so not much else to say so it's the self made front weight box by JW JGW modding. Next, we have one more weight. This is the Lizard Slice Weight by 76 Max. 3.81 megabytes to download. Slot count is 2, goes down to 1. And as with the other weights, you'll find this under Tools and Weights. Go down to the end. So, yeah, starts off at 950 bucks. Do you have an option for an extra 450 kilogram weight? So goes from one ton to one and a half tons, basically, or exactly it's 1.45 tons, not one half, but it rounds it up in the what detail what it says. Color options: basic color palette. Nothing more else to be said about that. So yeah, let's go into John Deere. See, so yeah, it starts at 950. 
with the additional weight, that is another 650, so 1,600 for a 1.45 tonne weight. And it does have an option for a pin hook attacher, so you can attach traders and that to it. And yep, there we go, place that down. So yeah, that is the Lizard Slice Weight by 76 Max. Next, head into our tools and trailers. We've got the case IH165. And essentially this is a 3.6 meter plow. This is by Exoblade Modding. 5.54 megabytes of download. Slot count is three slots goes down to one. So yeah, you'll find this under tools and plows. So go to our plows, there we go. Up to the end. 14 grand. You do have an option for old stickers or new stickers. So got the old case stickers or the new ones. Colour options, you've only got for the rims. And again, basic colour palette, so let's go with a nice hot pink. So yeah, that changes the rim colours, so 3.6 meters requires 180 horsepower. Of course, if you're working on undulated terrain with hills and all that, then you may go with something a bit more horsepower, around 200 maybe. But yeah, let's go attach it. So, graze and lower plow. You can rotate said plow. There's no other option, so. Let's head into our cornfield here. And there we go, we are plowing. Nice animation. There we go, so we'll raise it. Rotate it in the fields. And you have also have options to obviously create fields if you wish. Yeah, it actually like, likes it, it sort of kicks up the dust as well, in a way. Don't often see that with a lot of plows recently. Oops. Forgot that was in the field. But yeah, so that is the case 165 plow by Exoblade Modding. Next. Moving on to our trailers. First of all, we've got the Chrome GX520 by West Fouts Modding. 22.72 megabytes to download. Slot count is 12. And essentially, this is a multi fruit chrome trader with an option to pick any colors you want. 52,000 in capacity, weighs 11.5 tons. So, yeah, you'll find this under tools and traders. Scroll to the end. So, yeah. We've got this, so you've got a variety of, of options. So, real setup, you've got standard or wide tires. Lizard, you've got standard. First line, standard or wide. And then back down to PKTs, you've got the floaters, basically. A variety of that, Earth Max. Michelin's, you've got the XS and wide tires. And then back down to Trailborg. Warn signs, no or yes. So that is those on the back. Strobes, no or yes. And I think that's more for the back. Yep, yeah, so head to the back. So you got your strobe lights there. Just under the warn signs, so get rid of those. So none and yes. Then for your backlight, you got crone or LEDs and back to chrome. Cover, no or yes. So they'll flap over as with you typically see with other chrome traders. Now for color options and there is a huge variety of selections. So first of all go to your main color. Yes all of it is same base game palette so main color changes the main body. Side wall, let's go with a Lemkin Blue. And then decal 1, so let's go with a brown, so that changes crone on sides. And then for the main crone decal, that is decal 2. 
and they even got room colors and that, so black, you know what it does. But yeah, this is a, because typically when you see these, these only hold your, like, your forage stuff, but this holds pretty much everything, so, yep, yeah, root crops, lime, seeds, and all that. It can do everything, so, not too bad. But yeah, 190, 119 grand is a little bit on the expensive side. But that's typically what you see with the crone stuff. You pay for the premium luxury and quality. So yeah, I think I've got some iron ore in here. And yeah, so it unfolds and just dump it. So yeah, it has that rolling deck option. That's thing I love about these, you have that rolling floor. And do you have any other options for emptying it? Nope. R1 up and down, raises and lowers. So you can adjust how it sits. Oh yeah, tip side back, green door. So yeah, green door down. Yeah, sorry I had a green door. But yeah, again, I like, love that animation that sort of itch flaps. We open, close, open, close. And you cover, put the cover on. Nope. Let's go out of here a sec. No, well, now, so yeah, close cover. Oh, there we go. Wasn't working the first time. So yeah, open and close your cover. Ah oh, yeah, you can use this for forging if you wish. So yeah, let's try to see if there's anything for like, like this bit here to adjust the flap. But no, it doesn't look like it. But anyways, that is Chrome GX520 by West Fouts Modding. Next. On to something a little bit smaller, we got the TSP14, this is by Farm Andre, 16.24 megabytes to download, stock house is 10, and yeah, this is a little small trader with a variety of multicolor option, and you'll find this under tools and traders, and I'll find this next to the chrome we just looked at, so yeah, it starts at 50,260. Once again, it could hold everything, including fertilizers and mineral feed and seed. So you've got some options for capacity. So it starts with 10,000 liters, goes up to 70,000 liters, no cover, or 70,000 liters and a cover. We'll set up, we've got standard, narrows, and back to standards. Design, no, design one, and back down to standards. So all that changes, just stick it on the side. So yeah, what's that? That is like a Russian that is, so a little old Soviet Russian trader. For colour options, you do have a selectable palette, not many. So you got red, grey one, grey two, and pink. Design colour that is the main body, so green one, green two, green three, green four. Green 5, my personal favourite, Green 6, Green 1, Green 2, and then Red. So let's go with a Grey on that. And for your room colour, so you got Red, Grey, Green 1, Green 2, Pink, so all your other colours options we just looked at. There isn't a colour option for the like mudguards and the air tank, so one thing to know on that, same with the ladder, no car options there. But yeah, goes down to one slot from 10. Oh yeah, let's go and grab our John Deere here. So you thought something a bit different, something you don't typically see, like Russian traders and that, Soviet traders. Especially with like an air linkage system hooked up. So you have a look. Those is all connect all lovely jubbly. And so, so we've got tip side back, green door. 
terms with, just looking at. Now that's all for John Deere here, so yeah, just no adjustable option. As you wouldn't expect too much, so it's going to unfold. So yeah, it starts like tipping out quite early, it does, I've noticed. But yeah, there we go, just dumped on the chip sand. Yeah, lovely hydraulics, love the animation, love the detail. So yeah, that is the TSP-14 by Farmer Andre. Next, for our second to last mod of the day, we've got the Lizard PF-100, this is by Caruga Modding. 9.72 megabytes to download. Slot count is 6, goes down to 1. And essentially, this is a 10 meter long platform bell loader with the option to auto load. And with this, there is two options to have a square baiter or ram baiter option, and that is important because you can't mix and match with the other one, like you can do with other auto load trailers, which will just pick either bells up. So, but yeah, anyways, we'll find other tools and bell loaders. And then go down towards the end. So yeah, for the first one, this is for your square bells. And this is for your round bells. And configurations are the same. So we'll say I've got standard or wide tires. Back down to standard. Auto loading, no or yes. Beacons, no or yes. And it adds a beacon to the back. And yeah, same, white tires, auto load, yes or no. So yeah, let's go and hop into a John Deere. <coughs> Turn with what it'll hold, it'll hold 27 square bells and 28 ram bells maximum, so let's go to here. There we go. So you've got options to unload. Go rotate it. And you've got like a variety of options, so there we go. And you also have the option for strapping, yes or no. And then also you do have the option to just go like chuck them off at the back and so yeah. What I'll do is press L1 or 1. Left analog stick, and that raises and closes the flaps. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same for this. So yeah, when it's auto loaded, you can strap them down. So yeah, let's go and stop these bells off. Stop auto loading. So L1 R1. Left analog stick. See so it raises and folds the flaps. So yeah, if I say oh, I want to pick up these square bells, you will not be able to. So auto load on. Bell is not supported, so you need ram bells. So you can just whack them on. And then yep. Offload it as you wish, or auto load, and then unload it, and yep, yeah, just strap them down, and then you transport them as you wish to your cell point. So yeah, that is the Lizard PF100 by Karuga Modding. Next we'll head to our final mod, and it is a vehicle for the day. And this is the John Deere Pro Gator 2030A. This is by Solutions Modding, 11.83 megabytes to download, 10 slots for console, and yeah, it's a little utility equipment for your farm. Does have the option of a rear three point linkage system, has option for passenger seating but requires the Kubota DLC, and yeah, starts at 14 and a half grand, 23 horsepower, and top speed of 40 kilometers per hour. You'll find this under vehicles and cars. Go to the end. So yeah, it starts at 14 and a half grand. 
does have a 856 year capacity at the back and it holds pretty much a lot of multi fruit items so yeah there's not much options only standard or free point regardless you still have the ball hitch support there so yeah the ball trailer hitch and yeah the free point thing case does cost you another 1600 so yeah engine on l1 and right on the stick opens and folds the flap of course you have an option to unload and it says well, apparently it's unloading actually you know what let's go and fill this up a sec so yeah it says it holds stuff in that but look i'm literally right by our silos even by the yeah multi fruit Whatever, by point by A2 Studio, and yeah, there's no option to load it. And yeah, it says unloading, and this what you need to do is do that. But yeah, no hydraulics, no nothing like that. So maybe something that needs fixing in the future update. I'm not sure. But yeah, stop unloading, close that. Do have tension belt support, so if you want to do bells and that. And yeah, so in cab option, not too bad. Not the most nippiest of vehicles, of course, but at the end of the day, it's a little utility vehicle for your farm. It's only expected to be just popping around the farm and that, farmyard and that. Things like just taking bells to the animal pens or something like that. Or like feeding stuff to your chickens or even transport pallets and that. It's not a quick going rare vehicle, but at the end of the day, can't complain. It's a John Deere Gator, so yeah, we know we've got plenty of John Deere Gators on the mod hub, but what's one more? Something different compared to the others. So yeah, that is our that's all the mods we've covered for today, and this is the John Deere Pro Gator 2030A by Seducious Modding. So yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed this mod review. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're nice to But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all... A very soon.